this classroom economy is talking about the boutique. So uh, for starters, they learned a new word, boutique. And this is the class store. Uh, there is a manager in charge of the store, which they would have to have gotten interviewed for, uh, gotten that position. And what they do is they set up store hours, or I think I set up store hours. But <clears throat> on their break times, it's like, this is when the store's open, this is when it's closed. They can't go into the store if they haven't finished their homework or they're still working on something. So that's another incentive to make them finish their work because then they can go to the store. And I got stuff from the thrift store in the area or things I was just trying to get rid of. Uh, one thing is that the kids can actually sell their own stuff in the store. Then they get, um, like a, I think they got like 60 or 70% off of it and the store gets like 30 or 40% from, from selling it at their store. So the, the manager is in charge of um, taking care of the store. Sometimes I'll buy stuff. Uh, like, I mean, they have to buy stuff from, from me, the wholesaler. So I'll say, like, this is what I have. I'm, I'm charging, like, you know, a dollar or two for, for these shirts or something. And then they'll buy it, but then they need to be selling it at a higher price. And so I was letting them sell it at their own price, but I think they need guidance a lot in the beginning because they'll, they'll sell it very cheap and then they're going to start losing money for, the, for their store. Uh, you can actually even let them start off with a certain amount of money, like $20, and then let them build off of that. Or I will sell them, like, they were into wallets. So I just had a paper, just made some wallets, and I said, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to buy them, like, I make them for you, you, you get it for, like, a cheaper discount. If you, if you want to just make it yourself, you get an even cheaper discount. Or you can say um, if you buy it in bulk, you get you get discounts. So they can practice in that way. Also, they have to do inventory. So how much did you buy it for? How much did you sell it for? And then what was the profit or loss? At a time there was like a lot of loss, and so you have to kind of tell them again, like, well, you should sell it higher because you need to make a certain amount of money. And another thing, incentive to get the people coming back, they they made um, free membership cards. So it's, do you want to be a member? Okay, so here's a card, and then something like if you get it punched five times or buy, spend a certain amount of money, then you get a discount. Or maybe it was that you, because you're a member, you already automatically get a discount, and then you get five punches of buying something, and then I don't know, you might get something else free. But just ways to keep the customers coming back and interested, and um, there's a lot of math in that as well, and money management.